Make sure you have the Auto 1111 local install of Stable Diffusion installed. Find the webui-user.bat file in the root folder for the install and open this file in Notepad. Add dash dash API to the command line args line of your bat file. Run the bat file and take note of the web address. You'll need this later. Go to Unity Hub and ensure you're using a version of Unity that is at least as recent as this version here, preferably something that is LTS. Create a new Unity project. Download the Unity package from GitHub. The link will be provided in the description down below. Save to a convenient location. Open the archive folder. Find the Unity package and copy the path from the address bar. Now, in the new Unity project you created, right-click in the project panel and click Import Package, Custom Package, and Import the Assets. There's not much in the package, just a scene and a script. Inside the script, you'll see a Unity web request. Make sure the URL matches the URL you saw in the command line window when you ran Stable Diffusion from the bat file. Note in the player settings the product name. This will be the name of the persistent data folder that Unity will use to store the Stable Diffusion images you create from Unity. So name it something that makes sense for you. Run play and note the path shown in the console that has the product name we just saw in settings. This is the persistent data folder. Enter your prompt and click the button. In a couple of seconds, the application will open the persistent data folder for you and show you the image you just created. As you create more images, the application will increment the number of the file name. That's it. If you want to know exactly how this is built, let me know if you're interested in the comments below and I'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how the API implementation was done. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please give us a like and please subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified of future tutorials. Feel free to make suggestions based on what you'd like to see combined in the world of AI-generated art, animation, VR, game development, Internet of Things, or other interesting ideas you have. I am planning to extend this project into a full-blown UI to control all parameters of Stable Diffusion in the future and integrate it with the forum projects I've covered in other tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next part of this tutorial becomes available.